What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Saved Show Podcast. This is your host, Justin. This is a weekly updated show where you get to see in real time as I struggle to become a better man, better husband, better father, and you'll watch as I struggle to walk closer to God each and every day. Boom. Way better than last week when we jumped back into recording. The intro took a few takes. Uh, I always like to get warmed up with some takes. Usually it's me yelling at the microphone and the camera saying hello to make sure that I can, in fact, record without any hiccups. So with that out of the way, we've got the intro. Um, It's good to be back with you guys. We will do an episode on Acts right now, and I will be recording an episode uh, in the fitness regard as well. So we'll get that later on this week. So hopefully a Monday, Wednesday cadence would be cool. Maybe it's Monday, Friday, uh, doing two episodes per week will be an adjustment. So we'll get that taken care of, um, but I am excited for that stuff. This week is going to be marathon training starting to get ready for a marathon in October, um, which is crazy. That's about four months away, right? Yes, yeah, the sixth month of June. The year is going fast, my friends. I heard it once that the days are long, but the years go by fast. And as I'm about to start my 30th year of life, that is holding more and more true. (laughs) It's flying by. So trying to enjoy it, spending lots of time with the kids, lots of time with my wife. Um, Somebody asked me what we're doing this summer, and I didn't really have too much to share. We're going to be hanging out with the kids, got an inflatable pool, for the backyard, you know, we'll go to parks, we'll go for walks, we'll barbecue, um, and that's exactly what I'd like to be doing. So, also, we're in a phase of life with two toddlers where maybe super in depth, long time travel isn't the best idea, <laughs> but we'll figure it out. Tons of travel later on this year that I'll probably share, but yeah, we're in a good phase of life, good rhythm. You know, we've got the two kid thing down. We've got bedtime down. Uh, Our eating, you know, meal time has been at a regular cadence. My wife is in a phase where she makes better food than we can get out. So we're having a lot of fun with different recipes that she's making. Uh, A lot of good sauces, a lot of mayo sauces. So good eating over here. Very blessed. My anniversary gift to my wife this year was an apron because she asked for it. Not because I'm a weirdo, but she wanted an apron. She's got an apron, and uh, she's wearing it pretty often. So, like I said, very blessed to have a wonderful wife uh, who's a a homemaker, and she likes to take care of me um, and certainly, most importantly, the the kids. So, very blessed. I don't know where to put my my head if you're watching. I've been just kind of moving my head around. But if you're listening, ignore that. Just keep listening. I think I'm speaking at a slower and more consistent rate than I was during last week's episode. Last week, I was very excited to be back in the saddle recording, and that holds true today. So, probably a quick episode here, but uh, to go back to the Axe discussion, Mandalorian, Star Wars, tying some things together just because I think it helps me to understand things better not that it's a one-for-one comparison but if you're a fan of star wars or if you're a fan of marvel then i think some of these ideas um, pair well together and uh yeah it's a good illustrative tool i think we used to have i think we used to have a better liberal arts education as a citizenry as a nation as a population and some of those comparisons would have been coming from, I don't know, Shakespeare or people reading the Iliad and having examples of courage and bravery and things to do, things not to do. Um, and some of those themes would be present in the story, and then you can draw it out. And So anyways, that's what I'm trying to do here, my first attempt to do so, so bear with me. In the show, The Mandalorian, the Mandalorian people, culture, uh, it is stated that they are not a race, rather they're a creed. And you can probably guess what I'm about to say is that sounds a lot like Christianity. Um, Paul says that there's neither slave nor Greek. There's nothing but being a Christian. Um, And let's reference 
the verse itself here, team. I probably butchered it. But in Galatians 3.28, there is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. There you go. I did butcher it. So I'll need to study up on Galatians and Paul's teaching. But with Christianity, we are all one in Christ Jesus. We are all under the King's sovereignty and his grace. And the comparison I would like to make to the Mandalorian, saying it's not a race, it's a creed. Um, I think we can discuss some creeds. So there's the Nicene Creed. And again, I will pull this up. Nice and easy. It's great to have technology. The full Nicene Creed. This is coming from anglicancommunion.org in live time. Um, and doing stuff like this... So, tangent. Doing stuff like this makes me think that this might work as a stream. If you're listening and you think maybe that'd be cool to see, at least try it out, uh, let me know. But since I'm looking for stuff live, uh, it kind of made sense to me that maybe we do a stream or two every once in a while. So anyways, the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is, seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, and one being with the Father. So that's the Nicene Creed uh, from the Anglican Communion. I'm not sure if we could find... No, it looks like there's the same. Uh, another would be the Apostles' Creed. So again, let's check it out. Apostles Creed, this is from the Christian Reformed Church, not advocating, but uh, that is what I have found here, team. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. So, this one's probably not for me. But that is another example of a Christian creed uh, that one could sus subscribe to, ascribe to. Um, and follow through with their life. So as it comes to the Mandalorians, I have that written down. Their creed is uh, sworn in front of others, very public display of their loyalty, their fealty to the culture. And they say these words, I swear on my name and the names of the ancestors that I shall walk the way of the Mandalore. And the words of the creed shall be forever forged in my heart. This is the way. So that one's pretty simple, uh, but that's what's in the show. So it's it's a warring culture. Um, culture is very important to them. You know, some of them, some of these characters are, are wearing their mask a hundred times, a hundred percent of the time, because that's a part of the uh, the religion, part of the culture. Uh, so that's the type of fealty that you see with this group. Um, and the obvious parallel there would be, this is the way. That was the last uh, discussion on it. Um, and so what I've done is I've rewritten that creed with more of a Christian flair, just to really pair the topics together. Uh, I swear on my name and those in my household that I shall walk the godly way of the Christian, and the words of the gospel shall be ever forged in my heart. This is the way. So kind of had fun with that. Um, my upbringing is not with a, a creed necessarily, a Nicene creed, the Apostles' Creed. Um, but it's, it's definitely a good thing to have. Um, so just back to the Star Wars thing. Everybody says this creed. They, are, they have fealty to the clan, the culture. They are very religious. They're zealots. They're loyal to this creed and to their beliefs to a fault. Uh, they're willing to die in many cases for having such beliefs. And what I would propose... And I don't want anybody to swear to this creed that I just made up, but that is the level of fealty and loyalty and obsession, and we need to be zealous. That's what I would like all of us to seek as we try to become better Christians, um, more Christ-like. Um, we're nowhere 
close to Christ-like, but perhaps we can try. We can do our best. We can show love for our neighbor. We can stand up for Christ. We can stand firm in our faith and follow the way. So it's not a race. It's a creed. So having that belief, can, nations and borders and in Star Wars, you know, planets and solar sectors and different things like that um, separate people, but they come together under one banner, under one belief, under one creed, and they're brothers and sisters. That is what I would want for all of us here. And I don't know if it's worth mentioning here. Maybe it's a whole other episode in itself, but the not a race part is pretty pretty important to us here in the US of A nowadays seems like even more than the race thing it's June so it's pride month there's all these identities that we're trying to be pulled towards instead of maintaining and sticking with the one true identity that matters and that being a Christian Christ being our primary focus um so yeah, maybe that's a full episode in itself, but we need to abandon black, white, yellow, orange, red, green. doesn't really matter because we are all one in the body of Christ. Christ is our primary focus. God is what we should be seeking daily. And I think we should get rid of these distractions, should we say. That isn't to say there hasn't been horrible things done in the past. There have been. That's human history. But I think if we could turn our eyes away from that and more towards more towards God, spend time in the Word, the world would be a better and a far different place. And you can start doing it yourself in your own your own world and you do it and then your neighbor sees the positive impact of, of Scripture in your life, and perhaps they turn to Scripture as well, turn to God, turn to Christ, and before you know it, you've got a revolution on your hands. Imagine if the whole country just turned away from these distractions, these false idols that we have. What good that would do? Something to think about. So, that is the title of the episode not a race, a creed. So we looked at a couple of creeds. I kind of had some fun with the Star Wars one, trying to make it um, more for us Christians, us believers. But the main thing that I wanted you, dear listener, to get out of my rambling is that uh, the creed, the belief, the loyalty and fealty that you feel towards Christ should be extreme in today's world. And you should be willing to stand firm in that faith and that belief. Your eyes solely focused on Christ. Get rid of all the distractions. And run towards God. Because he's moving towards you. So yeah, I think that concludes my thoughts from Acts, the early church. Uh, I think the Nicene Creed is first found in Acts. Let's see. Let's double check. What creed has its is in Acts? The Apostles' Creed. Okay. Nicene Creed. I'm seeing conflicting things here. And I apologize for not having that pulled up before. But like I said, maybe this works as a stream because then there'd be chat, you know, somebody who's more knowledgeable, which wouldn't take much, could point me in the right direction. So, our faith is not a race. It is a creed. We all swear our allegiance to Christ. Uh, we're all one in the body of Christ, brothers and sisters. And I'm feeling excited. A little tired right now, a little sick, but I am excited. I'm pumped about what God's doing in the world, what he's done in my own life, and I'm feeling very blessed. So what we're going to do this week is we're going to be even more zealous, even more extreme. Not right or left extreme, just more on fire for God. 
that's how I'm feeling. So we'll wrap here, team, and uh, I don't know why I keep saying team, listener, audience, believers, the saved nation. We could coin that term here right right then and now. Um, that's where we're going to wrap. A look for that marathon training fitness episode, if that's more your thing, um, instead of the, you know, the axe study or, or the guest episodes, um, then that's what we're going to start having Um if you've enjoyed, please make sure to share the episode. If you got something out of it or if there's another episode, please make sure to share. Uh, I do appreciate that. A lot of growth on the Spotify follower account lately. So I appreciate that. A lot of growth on Instagram. Uh, a lot of great collaborations going on in that regard. So go check out the Instagram page. Um, like and subscribe. Follow all those things. I appreciate it. Um, not really putting too much emphasis on it. If you like it, great. If you want to pass it along, then I'd be really grateful. Um, but that's totally up to you. I love you. God loves you. He's blessed us all. And don't forget, you are saved through Christ. <laughs>